Along to this now, African scholar Professor Toyen Falola says Afrophobia and xenophobia are a threat to the unity of the continent. Falola was speaking during the 12th annual Tabombeki lecture in Midran last night, where the theme was celebrating 20 years since the formation of the African Union. Newsroom Africa's Ziana Ngoba has the details. African Studies scholar Professor Toyin Falola has called for the African Union to become more assertive about the incidence of Afrophobia and xenophobia. Part of the founding principles of the AU included cooperation between countries on the continent at its founding summit in Durban 20 years ago. Xenophobia, Afrophobia and their respective attacks are threats to African unity and a step towards killing the ambition of people who dream, who dream about a beautiful African future. I have devoted this lecture to the unity of states and countries as the embodiment of the African Union. In doing this, we have limited the scope of our conversation, and it is time that you and I begin to talk about the unity of culture, the African taste of food, our commonality in music, our interest in films, our people are united. South Africa is still viewed by its peers on the continent as a country with anti-foreigner sentiment, which Falola believes requires intervention from the AU, including bolstered research. We are dealing with xenophobic attacks in different parts of the continent, and the problem might not have attracted the attention of the world or academia, but it's a major threat to continental cooperation. Xenophobia and Afrophobia linked with misconstrued nationalism and ethnocentrism have never been good for our development hopes. This problem must be addressed by the AU and reaffirm the commitment of member states to ensuring that such acts are not tolerated. The union must be assertive with its stance against xenophobia, ensure community education, and back on projects that will ensure high circulation of job opportunities, no matter the origin of any individual. Another assessment by Falola has been about how member states have not adequately harnessed the potential of Africa. If you are from West Africa, you see the massive migrations of Yoruba people to Gambia. If you visit Nairobi, you see trucks carrying food from Tanzania and Uganda. We do not speak about the unity of culture. We do not speak about the unity of our people. We do not have data on marriages. We do not have data on our people. We do not have data on interactions using religion, how people from South Africa, from Tanzania, go to churches in Nigeria, how Nigerian pastors operate in Kenya. We do not talk about that. And it is time you and I begin to extend our research into the unity among our people and how the use of languages, the use of idioms, the commonalities of our ideas make us uh, who we are. We do not talk about that, but it's very extensive. During the question and answer session, the scholar was probed about why all the continent's vision statements make very little mention of the youth, and when they do, why they haven't been included in its implementation. He conceded that a failure to have an AU youth wing is a matter which requires closer attention. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ziandang Ngobo in Midrand.